Hello everybody. I uh, would like to show you today how to program um, Mo Motorola GM300. Um, got these two on eBay, um, like 50 euros both. And uh, they, they work just great. Um, these two pair are v VHF radios and uh, they're in the 146 to 173 megahertz portion and all you need is the radio the cable directly on the um, RG45 uh, input with a COM port out so that would be a cable with RG45 and COM outside in the back and an old laptop uh, I use today a Latitude D610 that has a COM port and the frequencies will be marine frequencies the channel 16 9 and 6 on the um, on the marine frequency uh, international service so we'll go inside and activate the GM300 software and we're gonna go big we'll take ignore and you have the software um, doesn't matter if the radio is full volume or half volume it just has to be open so that's the most important thing and we can see we have like four channels already inputted so we'll take uh, setup and configuration of the laptop sorry F9 uh, we'll go PC configuration F3 and we have enter 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 com port number one do not forget this phase set up your com port if you want to work F10 F10 and of course get safe called plug data so we'll have to read the radio with F2 and now we'll have to wait because it's not very fast the process and it will take a little bit of time my computer is not that uh, fast and that's a good thing do not forget at almost 12 volts supply or you can go like 13 volts supply for the radio uh, and just wait for the data to be read you can save the data and blah 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 you I'm gonna show you that in a moment but as you can see it takes a lot of time to access the serial bus so we'll just have to wait a little bit you can skip this part if you want but I hope it's going to read it it's very long and here it starts two three and in this period try not to touch the radios or things like that just if it be, don't uh, don't try to get out the RG45 cable. Uh, you can risk permanent damage. <clears throat> just leave it like like that, and everything is going to be just fine. As you can see, it's not that fast, and the laptop is not that uh, new, but it does the job, and that's uh, the important thing. I tried programming it with. Um, uh, adapters to USB mm, it doesn't work not for this radio it doesn't work you you really have to have COM port input and no virtual devices it's it's not going to work I tried it I changed the speed of the virtual device um, no uh, it, it will not uh, do anything good and this is the only way that I tried like two or three times and works very very nice okay and here you have it you don't have any sound on the radio because you have to uh, plug the two out exterior pins of 15 and 16 in the back side to get audio from uh, the speaker but I'll show you that later so we're in the same menu we're not going to read radio we're gonna go escape and we're gonna go change view code plug data I'm gonna go F4 
and we're gonna go uh, f5 and you have the frequencies 147 uh, 100 that would be the number one channel with the name 001 so you can put in the channel name to not forget um, let's see uh, next mode f4 this is 171 885 same same one of 147 500 so these are our channels and now we're going to start and modify them from here <clears throat> i want to show you a little bit of uh, information about the radio we're going to go um change view code plug, uh, code plug that I, that will be f4 radio wide configuration you get f2 and we have here the model 10 watts 146 174 megahertz uh band radio so it's very important that I, I have to show you this because after that I'm gonna put it in ham radio mode. Uh, so that would mean I'll have to uh, go underneath 146. Now we're gonna go F4, I'm gonna go F5, and we're gonna name the first channel that I have over here. Uh, wait to get my list. Channel 6. So it's gonna be 06. And we're going to input the frequency that will be 156.725, zero uh, 156.725, 00 of course. Um, the sketch type, you can modify it from here if you're going to have a tone to open, open it or not. And this is our first channel. So we're going to go next mode. And we have mode 2 that will be channel 2 on the radio with the name 02 and we'll put 09 on it and we put 156.650 and we'll repeat the same thing and this is our channel 2 we're gonna go next mode, that will be our channel 3 and I wanna make this channel 16 international distress signal in marine radio that's 156 800 156 800 so we have TX and RX on the same frequency and we're gonna go next mode and this will be channel 4 so we have channel 4 with mode 4 channel 1 with number 6 2 with number 9 and 3 with number 16 with the name 16 now on number 4 I told you I'm gonna make a ham radio channel we're gonna leave it um, we're gonna put in uh, 07 because it's the number of my department so I'll, I'll not forget and let's write 145 I'll leave it 500 whoa problem valid range is 146 174 okay uh, the code will gonna be written with the shift key on so we're gonna put shift key 145 sorry 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 shift key on 145 point five hundred and it still not works and of course it doesn't work because my input keyboard is French and we're writing it in OSCE code so I have to have the regional English keyboard as you can see the uppercases are not the same on the QWERTY and we have Azerty input so these are the good ones the one that you usually use with an English keyboard like so we're gonna put in 1 4 5 5 Any 
have it. One four five five hundred. So one four five five hundred. And here you have it. Programmed in VHF one four five five hundred FM. Now if I go previous mode Warning, due to frequency range changes made to the radio should be retuned. Yes, it should be, but in my case I'll leave it like that. F2, and we go F4, and we have 145500. Now, we're gonna go F10, F10, uh, get safe, F3, program the radio. F2 and we'll program the radio now. As you can see the information where it will be sent to the radio. It will not be quite tuned for the 145500. We can tune it because the program has modes for that to tune it but uh, it would be important like if you want to do APRS because you're like 144 it's really out of tune but for 145 limit <clears throat> you can go no problem and it's writing it down the radio and here you have it I have a digit missing but you can see it's 6 9 16 and 7 and we'll go like 6 and the number 6 was 1 56 seven two five as you can see I have TX we're gonna go number nine one fifty six six five zero that works we're gonna go sixteen one fifty six eight hundred and it works and we're gonna go seven with uh, 145 500 and it goes I have another one here and I'm just going to show you the position I'm gonna put again and it's gonna be here and it's just a simple jack two pin to go between 15 and the 60th pin and without this we will not have audio from the speaker. As you can see works perfectly. Thanks for watching. Hope uh, this video was a help to all of you nostalgics that you love programming this old beauties and I want to sh show you also the PC configuration so it's nothing too fancy. Uh, I used uh, Nix P uh, Windows with the service pack free uh, processor 1.8 gigahertz 500 megahertz of RAM so nothing too fancy works with 500 megahertz of RAM so uh, not such a slow computer for his time all the best enjoy